I did it again. I bought another Burago model. G'day guys, Rob here from Rob's Model Cars. And um, after the last Burago Ferrari Monza SP1 model that I just reviewed, I thought I would buy another Burago model that is, well, has a lot of hype around it anyway. Let's just say that. So what I'm talking about is the brand new Burago Lamborghini Cyan. Now, I saw a lot of pictures on Facebook of people that got this model before I did, and it actually looked quite impressive as well. And a lot of people, collectors, had a, had a lot of good things to say about this particular model. So I thought I would uh, get this one in and have a bit of a look at it and do a review for you guys as well. Now I'm currently customizing the Burago Ferrari Monza SP1 and I will probably do the same thing to this Cyan. Now I do have the MR collection resin high-end version of this Lamborghini Cyan on pre-order. Um, it shouldn't be too far away, maybe a month or two. So when I get that one, I'll do a comparison of this $45 Burago and the $400 plus dollar MR collection model as well, just so you can see the differences. Um, but for today's video, uh, we'll have a look at this one. Now, as I said, this was 45 US dollars as well. I did get this one from Car Lover Diecast in China. They are the sole distributor of Burago models now. Uh, and first impressions, it actually looks pretty decent for $45. So um, it just comes in this window style box, lots of graphics all the way around. Now one thing to mention, this is from their Burago's Diamond collection. Now the uh, Ferrari Monza SP1 was just the basic race and play series, not the signature. So even though that was really quite a good model for the money, it didn't have the extra little features like the uh, signature series. Whereas I think the diamond collection is the next level up. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm no Burago expert by any means. I mainly only collect high-end resins. Um, but this model I think will be a fantastic base for another custom model. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at this model. So um, it just comes in a uh, inside in a plastic uh, carrier or plastic shell, not packaged too well to be honest with a bit of sticky tape. Let's just get rid of that box um, and we'll pull that off. And this is the model as it comes. Now I think Car Lover Diecast actually put some foam in there just to uh, stop it moving around a little bit. But this is the Burago Lamborghini Cyan. Just comes on this molded red plastic base. Um, I don't know whether, you, or you can maybe use that as a display base actually. Uh, and the model is just screwed to the base by a couple of screws underneath. Um, it does come with uh, the packing straps in place. Um, so. Yeah, first impressions, it actually looks pretty good for $45. Uh, now, one thing that has been mentioned on Facebook is that uh, the model is the same length as a AutoArt Lamborghini Aventador, so it seems like the, the scale of this model is uh, true 118 scale, um, but I won't know exactly until the MR Collection resin version arrives, and then we can put them side by side and see if there's actually any difference, uh, because I trust MR Collection more to make it in true 118 scale than Burago. Uh, but first impressions, um, looks pretty decent. So what I'll do, I'll cut these packing straps off, uh, unscrew the model and we'll put on the turntable and have a closer look at this brand new Burago Lamborghini Cyan. Okay, so check this thing out, 45 US dollars and I think that is a pretty incredible price for what you see here. So I think overall Burago has done a fantastic job on this model. Um, nice that it is true 118 scale. Well, let's hope so anyway, fingers crossed. Um, but I think the overall first appearance of this model, it looks really quite good. Now, first thing I wanna talk about is the paint finish. So uh, this cyan is finished in this uh, olive green metallic color, but it is a satin finish. And I have to say that the paintwork is pretty good on this model. Uh, it is a really cons consistent satin finish, uh, which looks pretty good throughout the whole model. Now, another thing I wanna mention is the use of their 
textured plastic to look like carbon fiber. Now, I was really impressed with it on the Monza that I reviewed uh, just uh, a week ago, uh, and it's the same with this model. From a distance, uh, it's hard to tell that this is not decal. It's super glossy, and dare I say it, uh, Burago's molded plastic carbon fiber looks better than AutoArt's molded plastic carbon fiber. So there, I said it. Now let's talk about the details on the model. Uh, of course it has the carbon fiber uh, winglets on the side here and the main blade that runs through the center of the car. Also the surrounds of the headlights are also in the carbon fiber. This is all textured plastic to look like carbon fiber. Um, the DRL lights are pretty good here, the Y-shaped Lamborghini DRLs, although you can see uh, the three little dots, dark colored dots, that is the mounting pins on those. So obviously this is a cheap model, so that's how they uh, assemble these things quickly. Uh, but if one was to modify this model, you can cut those little tabs off and you lose those little dotted looks there, um, which would be an improvement. Um, now the headlight details, quite basic, the headlamps in there. Uh, you do have a, a sticker or a, it's a very thin decal, maybe that's printed on there, the Lamborghini Crest, it's completely flat. Uh, you do have the uh, louvre vents that run up through the fenders. Um, now, not sure, can't tell whether they're open or closed, uh, but they're just in a molded black color. Uh, windscreen wipers are just in plastic, but they're okay for the model. And as I mentioned, does have this big carbon fiber panel in behind the front of the hood as well. If we move around to the side, we've just got the painted on silver side markers here on the fenders. The side mirrors are body color on the top, but they are molded carbon fiber texture underneath, including this stalk of the mirror. You've also got more carbon fiber molded textured plastic here on the top of the door which feeds into the air scoops uh, and same as this uh, vertical blade on the front of the door and also the carbon insert in the back of the door here which leads into the side air ducts. All textured plastic carbon fiber. Uh, you do have some uh, air inlet vents in here, little, little panel vents. Uh, they look pretty good as well. Uh, this side, moving through, we do have the little fuel filler cap here as well. The side skirt extension pieces with the little upturns here are also in the textured carbon fiber. You do have a nice little detail of a Tricolore strip here, and we do have some little text on this side. Uh, not wearing my glasses, so I can't read that. It's really tiny, but there is some text on this little strip here, as well as on the inside not sure whether you can see that. On the inside of the wing end plates, there's actually some Aerodynamica Lamborghini, I think it is. Uh, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't read that. Um, so there's some nice little details on there as well. Uh, quite unique, the end plates for this rear wing with the hole. Of course, you've got the number 63 uh, printed on there as well. Uh, and the back of the model isn't too bad either. I think they've done a really good job on the tail lights. They just have flat black plastic surrounds on the tail lights. Of course, the big piece of mesh in this model, it's just a solid piece for this price point. The rear diffuser is all in the textured plastic to look like carbon fiber as well. And you've got the black exhaust outlets as well, which are solid as you can see. So uh, a quick mod there, you can get your drill bit out and drill the inside of the exhaust out uh, to give it a bit more realism. Um, and the whole rear of the, or the underside I should say, of the model is all in the textured plastic carbon fiber as well, which has a nice glossy shine to it. So look, overall I think the, the, de the basis of the details are there in this model. Um, it, it is going to be another great base for a custom model, um, but it is a worthy model to have sitting in your Lamborghini collection or your general diecast collection in saying that as well. I think they've done a really good job. Uh, remember, this is only 45 US dollars, so it is a quite a cheap model, um, but the details are there. Now the plastics that they use are pretty clear. 
Um, there is a little bit of distortion in the side windows and again my model has a few little scuff marks on the plastic as well but they could be polished out with some Tamiya polish I'm sure. Um, but yeah, same as the clear windows in the roof and the engine lid, uh, a few little scuff marks on there but hey these are mass produced these models. Uh, this is not limited edition by any means uh, and they will be producing absolutely thousands and thousands of these models. But I tell you, first glance, uh, really quite impressed for a $45 model, whether you like the Lamborghini Cyan or not. Now of course it is a Burago so the wheels do turn, uh, they do spin. Um, I don't think this has uh, metal springs in it like the Monza, um, but it does have a little bit of movement. Maybe that's just the plastic in the suspension. I'm not sure until I pull that apart. Um, the wheels are okay. They're a little bit dark in color compared to the real car. That's been some complaints of people on Facebook as well. Um, but the actual detail of the wheels is pretty good. They're reasonably crisp in design. They do feature the center cap with the Lamborghini uh, crest on there as well. Uh, and the tires, the tread's okay on these ones. Uh, and it does have the Pirelli tire riding on the outside of the tires as well. Now the brake discs are actually okay on this model too. And it's got the red brake calipers in there as well with the Lamborghini script on the calipers. So yeah, I think overall uh, the model, the stance, everything looks pretty decent. Uh, and hoping that this one is true 118 scale as well, but I won't know, as I say, until I get the MR collection version and sit them side by side. Um, but the bonus of this model, uh, not only is it $45 and a great price, it is fully opening as well. So the first thing we have that opens is the front hood. Now I have to say, these are probably the biggest dog leg hinges I've ever seen on a model. These are absolutely massive uh, and there's absolutely nothing to see in the front here at all. So I don't even know why they bothered to have an opening hood. Uh, that's more like something you would find on a toy, not a collectible. Uh, so when I rebuild this model, I will be gluing that shut because there's really nothing to see. Now the doors do open as well. Uh, now one thing with these Buragos is they do have a very solid hinge system in underneath the door so the action of the door feels really solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to break off. Uh, and the doors open up to the same sort of position that an auto art door Lamborghini would open up to as well. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, same as the Aventador, they, they do open out on a bit of an angle which is accurate. So pretty good deal there. Now it does have an opening engine cover as well. It does drop down a little bit from its full opening position, but it does stay up. Uh, you do have your glass engine windows or plastic, clear plastic engine windows in there as well, which looks good. We'll get to the engine. Uh, and it does also have a working rear spoiler. Now this is a bit jaggy the way it opens, so just be a little bit careful, uh, but it does open up as well. So. Uh, it sort of tilts, um, but it's a pretty crude mechanism. Uh, but hey, at least it does open up. So kudos to Burago for making that rear wing open up. Now before we have a look at the interior, I want to show you the engine compartment on this model. So again, there is a heavy use of textured carbon fiber look plastic. Uh, this big panel behind the engine here, the engine strut brace, uh, a few of the engine inserts are in the molded carbon fiber as well. But overall, it looks pretty decent. You do have the gold uh, heads on the uh, air plenums on the top of the engine there. Uh, and all the air boxes on the sides are just molded in black plastic. But again, this is a really good starting point to do some customization, some detail painting, maybe adding some carbon fiber decal on there as well. Um, but yeah, I think that is a reasonably good effort by Burago uh, and worthy, absolutely worthy of a $45 model. Now, if we close that one up, we'll open the doors back up and we'll have a look at the interior. So one thing I did want to mention was actually about the door gaps and the door alignment. Uh, they're not perfect. Uh, they're not really flush on this particular model here. 
Uh, on this side, it's a little bit better here, flushness, um, but the gaps are not the greatest. They're quite large on the front of the door as well. Um, but with a few extra layers of paint that I will put on, I should be sure to close up those door gaps. So yeah, the, the flushness of all the other panels is pretty good on the model, but the doors are not so good. But it is a cheap model, so we can't expect everything. Now the door trims I want to talk about, these are all in the textured plastic to look like carbon fiber as well. Uh, really good effort there. Big mention for the solid clear windows, the full windows in this model, that's a great feature. Uh, and back to the door trims, you do have a little bit of the brown color of the interior on the door trims as well. Now the interior is actually quite good on this model. Uh, you will note it does have a cyan sticker on the door sill there. Uh, and the interior is mostly in the brown colored seats with some black inserts. Uh, lower part of the dashboard is in the same brown color. The rest of the dashboard is just in a, uh, a black, a flat black color. Um, but you do have some good detail in the center console here. Bit of textured carbon fiber as well. Uh, and nice little details on the switches and that as well. I have to say that, that the center console detail in this Burago is actually better than the decal in my MR Centenario. So um, pretty good details there. Uh, same with the steering wheel and the instrument cluster is reasonably decent for the price point. It does have a textured carbon fiber top to the instrument cluster as well. Um, and yeah, it does have seat belts in there, but I think they are rubber, uh, but it also has some nice textured plastic on the floor mats as well. Not detail painted that I can see, um, but reasonably decent. So uh, again, I have to emphasize that this is only a $45 model uh, and I think they have done a really fantastic job on it to be honest. I'm really, really again impressed by a Burago uh, and with the opening doors, opening engine compartment, working rear spoiler, uh, I think it's a no brainer to add this one to your collection. So look, Really impressed with it. If I was gonna give it a Rob score, I'm gonna give this humble little Burago a seven out of 10. Sure, it's got some fitment issues uh, and extensive use of textured plastic for carbon fiber, but you really can't knock the model because of its price for those features. So yeah, seven out of 10 Rob score, and I am going to customize this one as well and, and make it even better. So for those of you that have some modifying skills out there, uh, this is a great base to build an absolutely awesome custom model. So that's gonna wrap up today's review of this Burago Lamborghini Cyan. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to follow me on social media as well. All the links to those social media pages are on the homepage of this YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's review as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. Uh, really, again, I have to say I'm impressed by this $45 Burago uh, and go out and grab yourself one. I think you won't be disappointed. So that's gonna wrap up today's review. So until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars. Thank you.